Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this video is going to be very interesting and very helpful for you all if you all are looking for the same. And yes, I have received so many comments regarding the pre-joining formalities of Cognizant and also regarding the offer letter. So yes, as I have updated in my previous video too that I have received my offer letter and also on the same day only I have received my pre-joining formalities too. So in this video I am going to tell you who else who over who are worrying for it like how to do background verification submission, how to upload documents what to do in this pre-joining formality there are so many queries right i can understand so that's all this video is for that only so you must have received this type of mail where all the things are mentioned step by step so let me show you practically so i have also received this mail after receiving my offer letter so my offer letter was simple like uh, congratulations and all and i have uploaded in my previous video too so you can see so here i am going to show the uh, how to access pre-joining formalities and what are these so simply you have to click here like instructions to activate your access to the one cognizant portal you have to access this firstly if you haven't done yet you can do it right now so let me show you because there are so many comments and uh, and so many of you were asking in my mail also like how to accept offer letter and how to do this pre-joining formalities. So on that note, I'm making this video. So now let's get started. So firstly, you have to just click here. This is our first step. And after clicking, let's lo uh, get load this page. Then I'll continue. Okay, so it is loading one join, one cognizant portal. It is taking time because I don't have much data. Okay, so as you can see, Yeah, so uh, now you can see my one cognizant portal is visible. So I have already accepted this so I cannot click here. But now let me say like what I did when I uh, clicked here. So I have taken, uh, you don't have to click from here because you will not get the option. I was also in earlier not doing same thing. That's why I am repeating it and I am making this video to let you know about this. Like uh, you have clicked there and uh, firstly, so I have already um, registered with this my Microsoft account. So I have successfully uh, opened it. Like I am able to open it. But if you have not registered, then there will be interface for registering uh, uh, one cognizant portal with the Microsoft account. And then for that, you have to enter the email ID and password. And uh, then there will be code sent on your email ID and on your uh, mobile phone. And then you can access this. Okay. So after this, I have already done. So uh, that's why it was not showing. And I have not logged out. So that's that is also the reason if i should have logged out i mean if i have done i would have done then it will not be showing like this but i have logged in so it is not showing to me so after that this kind of interface will be um, appearing to you and then you have to take a uh, private window like new in private window you can see so you have to click here so this type of uh, interface will be showing to you then you have to go on the previous one i like i have come here and then what you have to do you have to just copy this you don't have to directly uh, accept your offer from here because if you will click directly from here now without taking any private window then it will not work it there will be not any option for accepting or declining or any other options of this so, okay so what you have to do you just have to click here and then you have to click on the private window like I had I did and then uh, you will again come on this page and you have to copy this link 
okay like i have done and then again i'll go on that private window like this then what will i do in this search bar i will just paste my link and then i'll enter so after doing this my one cognizant portal will be open in this private window so it was like this only you have to um, what i was saying yes you have to log in so here again i have to give my email id so yes I have already done this but I am just showing you so that it will be more clear. So okay. Now I have to enter code what I have received on my email and this is of single use only. Single use code this is. So I will enter. like this and then i will sign in all right so after uh, you have to tick out here and then click on yes okay as i am showing every step so just watch it carefully and you also have to do like this only then there will not be any further problem i guess Okay, so I have received code on my text and, and the same code I'll enter here for signing in. So the code is of single use only of course 804903. Okay, and I'll verify. Okay, so now it is done and our portal is opening. Just have some patience. You have to stay connected till the end so that you could know the information exactly what I am trying to convey to you. It's taking time. I am telling you to have some patience, but I am losing my patience. Okay. Okay, so it is opening but taking time. So here you can see review and accept offer later. Then you can you will be able to see the same page like you will able to see in the previous window also. So you have to just click here and when you will click here now just observe my pointer. So when you will click here now then uh, the you will be uh, redirected to the another web page and there will be your offer letter and you have to read it carefully and in the below there will be options of uh, apply, uh, I mean accept offer letter or decline offer Related. of course if you want to accept you have to click on uh, i mean uh, yes click on accept offer letter and yes there will be option of tentative exam date tentative result date and tentative provisional certificate date so there uh, there may be queries of you like what is the meaning of this tentative dates so yes of course if you have already completed your bca or btech degree or BSc, whatever graduation degree I'm talking about. So you, uh, there is no meaning of tentative in this case. So you will just fill your confirmed dates on which date your exam, I mean your final exam was held on and on which date you received your result of that particular exam and on which date you have received your provisional certificate. Right. So you have to fill the confirmed date because your degree is already completed now then there is no means of tentative that is for the student who are pursuing so they will put their uh, tentative date 
I mean the expected date and it can be changed. So I think this uh, confusion is clear to you. I was also worrying like I have already completed then what will I feel? But yes, my query was solved. You have to fill your confirmed date on which date it was happened. So yes, simply it is, it is like this and then you will click on submit button. There will be um, play, displaying to you and you have to click uh, on that and after that uh, it will be like this only it will be of green color and it will be showing here completed and after that i have received mail of uh, like uh, my offer letter is accepted so updated offer letter after acceptance i have received that mail i'll show you that mail also and in that mail it is written like uh, there are so many queries I am receiving ma'am how to submit a document. So see you have to wait for another mail right now on this um, portal you cannot submit because if I will click here now let me show you this also if I, if I am clicking here now so it is showing like this you can see so it uh, there are no options to submit the documents and it it is the query of many of you right so you have to wait you will receive another mail for background verification and for background sub i mean document submission and then you have to uh, submit all your documents but yes be ready for all the documents whatever is required and you must have received the mail with your offer letter. I mean, when you have received your selection mail, na, the, all the documents are included in that mail only, like whatever is required. So be ready with all your documents. I mean, your original scan uh, copy of your documents, uh, recent photo, recent, uh, recent resume with your updated photo, everything. Just be ready of that documents. And also one question was there like passport is mandatory or not. Of course, it is not mandatory. But yes, you have to apply because uh, when you will going to join offline, na, then it may be uh, mandatory. So you have to just apply and you can upload the receipt uh, of passport like you have applied for it. So that's all. And uh, why I am telling this uh, confirm but i mean i'm confirming you like you will receive background verification mail because i have received this type of mail from cognizant after accepting my offer letter so let me show you that all right okay so let me show you mm, just a second So this mail I have received um, of offer letter you can see and the, after this mail I have received a pre-joining formalities and then I have accepted my offer letter and after acceptance of my offer letter I have received another mail. Let me show you that also. So as you can see, it is written here, Dear Nakhat Praveen Zeba, congratulations on successfully confirming your offer with Cognizant and sharing with us your date of joining. So at Cognizant, we are committing, I mean committed to providing our associates with an enriching, rewarding and encouraging work culture. We believe in thinking of out of the box in doing big things early so these all things are mentioned but the main thing i am going to show you yes please note it is written here an email will be sent to you requesting you to upload the documents in onboarding application please upload and submit the documents to proceed with filling up the online forms so i think it is clear to all of you like you will receive an another mail for background document submission. So just wait, you will receive it. And it is mandatory to complete the forms in the pre-joining section before your date of joining to ensure a seamless onboarding experience. You may also refer to the sample forms provided in the resource center to assist you with filling up of pre-joining forms. 
okay so uh, when you will be done with the pre joining formalities and uh, also the background verification then you have to do the nsr i mean uh, cognizant has made national skills registry registration a mandate i mean this is also mandatory mandatory that you have to register using this url so within 20 days on receipt of the offer letter so firstly you have to complete your background submission and the pre joining formalities where uh, 17 forms will be there so you have to fill that so just wait for another mail you will of course receive it because if you have already accepted the offer letter so yes i think i have cleared all your doubts still if there is any query then you can just comment below i'll make sure to reply as soon as possible and also if i will receive another mail regarding this background submission or else then i'll also update about this here okay so with this note i would like to just end my session here and i hope you also get uh, the another mail very super soon okay so uh, bye bye everyone take care